Well, if SpongeBob exists in the future, I'd better go to the past. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, but my sensors indicate that you are indeed a weenie. I have a good idea, and no one else thinks so. Me too. Inflatable pants. What do we got here? Oh, goody. Holographic meatloaf again. Well, that's my air helmet. May I try it on? Heck no, I need it to breathe. I gotta have my air. Oh, come on. When we first met, you were little more than a jumbled mass of diodes and wires. I made you what you are today. Literally. So don't think you couldn't be replaced in a heartbeat. Ow. What's the matter? My eye is burning and I don't know why. Blink. Oh, yeah, thanks for reminding me. Bye. Bye. Ah. Do you hear me? <laughs> Holy fish paste! Get it off me! Get it off me! The automatic back scratcher, hair combing, nose picker, and ukulele tuner 9000! And you won't stop me this time. Good morning, sir. Good morning, T-119A. They're supposed to do that. Uh, groovy enough for you, man? I'd love to. Scab you out of your secret formula, that is. <laughs> The lunch rush. Now that my chum bot has dropped you into my clutches, you'll be forced to eat at the chum bucket. There, that ought to do it. If y'all needed water, you should have asked. Extendo boot. I just press this button and. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, haven't worked out all the kinks yet. Remain still for retina scan. Phew! Gosh, it's hot. SpongeBob to Peanut, come in, Peanut. What's it saying? It says, it's dark in here. Have you ever witnessed such marvelous machinery? It sort of just looks like an old hair dryer taped to the back of a miniature windmill. There's a call coming through on my pants phone. Perhaps to Agent SpongeBob. Come in, SpongeBob. It's for you. <laughs> Look like I just saw a ghost. Karen 2! <gasps> Karen 2? I've been replaced? I'm afraid so. But can you blame me? She's got triple the processing, all the latest software, and a sleek space age design. <laughs> well, what can it do? Can it make me famous? Anything you want and more. The Jerkmaker 9000 will make doling out tainted fruitcake a breeze. Now, who's going to be my first victim? The knockout rage. <laughs> wow, Sandy! Come on, you piece of garbage! <laughs> Ouch! Uncle, uncle! Use the jetpack! Can do! And just how am I supposed to attach it to Crab's brain? Leave that to me, hon. Prepare for launch. Target in range. Launch sequence initiated. No way! I am ready. I am ready. I am ready. Ready to destroy Christmas. You know 
SpongeBob, there's a much faster way to do this. Oh? Wow, pretty good. Good work, Patrick. One blast of this molecular separator ray, and you'll be separated for good. No, no, no wait, Sandy, no. It's a portal to other worlds. I built it to explore the universe. Also for quick trips to Texas to pick up some of my favorite barbecue nuts. Aha! Well, I hate to leave you, Karen, but you know what they say, a rolling stone gathers no algae. are my new hires, Simmy and Tally. Just look at them tossing the disc around. Whoa! Where'd it go? Just where you think it would be. <gasps> oh! Can't you see I'm working on my new molecular analyzer? Now all I need is the smallest molecule of a patty, and the formula will be mine! Notice the microwave-powered laser particle beam. Notice the laser-guided high-pressure water cannon. And notice the little surprise I installed just for you. A specially woven metal alloy, ingeniously combined with state-of-the-art cleansing materials. I call it... Steel Wall! And it comes with... A laser! It'll track any sponge within a 50-mile radius. Oh, you're saying this thing can actually find SpongeBob? You got it, Squid Cake. So long, Sonic Cannon that destroys every known material in the universe. <laughs> do -do -do -do. How you like me now? I like you this much. It worked! Wow! Howdy, SpongeBob! How do you like it? What is it? It's a rocket ship, duh! No threat detected. Oh, you infernal contraption! I'm gonna ship you off to the scrap heap you came from! Threat detected. <laughs> <laughs> or should I say Robot Bob Sponge Chef Pants? I put the brain in the robot, you know. You shouldn't have been a spoiled brat. You see, I always get what I want, and I want you to make me a Krabby Patty! Response, why don't you ask me later? What? What? <laughs> <laughs> yum, yum. This spaghetti sure is good. Belch. Meatball, meatball, meatball spaghetti, spaghetti underneath. underneath. Ravioli, ravioli, great barrier reef. I'll shrink the sub and myself down to microscopic size. Then navigate through your brain, down into your throat, and extract the reed from inside. Simple. Greetings. I am Robo 2.1, your personal robot servant. I am proficient in providing over 250,000 creature comforts. Would you care for a pastry? <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that pop gun. Are we going to go hunting aliens on the moon? Oh, hush, silly. This is for harvesting moon rocks. Yeah. Hey, what do we have here? You fellas look a little peaked. Hmm, this shouldn't be. I wonder. Say, this isn't Professor Plankton's dandruff control shampoo. It's Professor Plankton's mind control shampoo. <laughs> With conditioner. <laughs> what? Aw, <laughs> oh, I hope this is a pick-me-up you needed, old girl. Ah! Well, kiss my grit! 
What happened? <sighs> Someone tried to throw away a patty. Pinch Omatic has saved you 5.2 cents. Now I can find SpongeBob and the gang and fly us right back. Acorn 1 to tower. Request clearance. Roger, Acorn 1, you are cleared for takeoff. As you can see, I've produced two clones of my subject, which will allow him to honor all the commitments he's made this evening. What is this contraption you've hauled into me place? A miracle, a marvel. It will cook Krabby Patties at a fabulous pace. But how are the patties? I mean, how do they taste? I'll let you try one. Shove this in your face. <laughs> you have to admit, that patty was yummy. So it sits like a rock when it lands in me tummy. <laughs> Seatbelt, check. Controls, check. Proper takeoff, check. How you doing in there? Oh, I'm good. Oh, there's my house. Oop, I forgot to feed Gary. <laughs> oh, hi, Gary. 